Welcome to this channel. In this episode, we will discuss a maxim on equity. The video on the origin and development of equity is given in the introductory playlist and the link is given in the description box. I request you to watch that video also. Hope you will find this video interesting and informative. He who seeks equity must do equity. In Latin it is qui equitatum quariet equitatum agendum est. The maxim can be divided into two halves. One, he who seeks equity and second part is must do equity. One who is seeking the equitable relief from the court must do just or equity to his opponent or adversaries on which the opponent have the right. In other word, we may say one who seeks the equity must act in just and fair manner and must accept the right of his adversaries or opponent. To understand this maxim, let us have an example. Say Mr. A have taken a loan from Mr. B and deposited his title deed of the property to Mr. B. Now, if Mr. A claims before the court of equity to get his title deed from Mr. B, then as to the maxim, Mr. A must be ready to return the monies that he had borrowed from Mr. B. The court will ask Mr. A to return back the monies to Mr. B. Otherwise, the court will refuse to make an order in favor of Mr. A. The application of this maxim can be found in 1. Doctrine of election 2. Illegal loans 3. Consolidation of mortgage 4. Equitable estoppel 5. Set off 6. Wife's equity to settlement 7. Notice to redeem mortgage The application of this maxim is found in the various provisions of the Indian law. 1. Section 19A of the Indian Contract Act. The consent in an agreement was given under undue influence. The agreement is voidable and it is void at the option of the party so caused. As the maxim, the party so demanding void have to refund the benefit that he had derived from the other party under such contract or agreement. 2. Section 35 of the Transfer of Property Act. This section speaks about the election doctrine based on the principle of approbate and reapprobate. 3. Order 8, Rule 6 of the Code of Civil Procedure. The concept of equitable set-off is accepted in India and for the legal set-off is embodied in the Code of Civil Procedure. 4. Section 30 and 33 of the Specific Relief Act. These two sections are based on this very maxim. If one takes the benefit, will have to return the benefit to the adversary on which the opposite party or adversary have the right. On cancelling an agreement for sale, the vendor have to return the earnest money that he had received from the intending purchaser. At last we may say, it is an enforceable conviction in the rule of law. There are many cases decided by the Indian judiciary on the basis of this very maxim. Some of them are 1. Anurema Barua vs. Union of India and other Supreme Court 2007. 2. Man Singh vs. Maruti Suzuki, India Limited and other, Supreme Court, 2011. 3. Sita Sundari, Barmani vs. Baroda Prashad Roy Choudhury, Calcutta High Court, 1923. 4. Devashish Chakravarti vs. Axis Bank, State Commission, Calcutta. 5. Upendra Kishar Roy Choudhury vs. Ram Tara Debba Choudhurani and other. Calcutta High Court, 1909. 